I'm Staff Sergeant E.L. Craig. Plenty of rumors are flying about how a possible government shutdown this Friday will impact the military. However, on Tuesday, Pentagon spokesperson Jeff Morrell made it clear no decisions have been made and plans are still being finalized. If the rumor is that a decision has been made to stop paychecks on April the 15th, I can tell you no such decision has been made. We have not, we are still working to avoid a government shutdown. That's our focus. So this is not a fait accompli. I think that, that the highest levels of this government, people are working to avoid that possibility. Mr. Morrell says no matter what, the military will still have the authority and capability to continue key operations, including the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq. Monday, Japanese Defense Minister Toshimi Kitazawa visited U.S. troops aboard USS Ronald Reagan. The defense minister wanted to thank U.S. military members involved in Operation Tomodachi. That's the continuing relief effort following Japan's March 11th earthquake and tsunami. He also thanked the American people for their support at a time of unprecedented crisis in Japan. U.S. Ambassador to Japan John Ruse says the U.S. will continue to stand with Japan. Today, we stand together. Japan and the United States, side by side, on the deck of the USS Ronald Reagan, as friends who, over the last three and a half weeks, have worked together day and night to uplift this great country from the horrific des devastation. Japan's defense minister says the Ronald Reagan responded immediately after the disaster, and its sailors, as well as other service members, continue supporting Japan on an extraordinary level. Meanwhile, nearly 200 Marines and sailors from the 31st Marine Expeditionary Unit are helping with relief efforts on a remote Japanese island. Oshima, which depended on ferry service from the mainland, was completely cut off after the tsunami hit. So the Marines are helping rebuild the island's harbor to allow better transportation of humanitarian aid. Coming up ahead on Around the Services, from the Gulf of Guinea to the Philippines, we'll have scenes from several important training exercises underway. But first, we head downrange where U.S. service members are taking part in key leadership engagement missions.